Hey, have you tried making something symmetrical in Cinema 4D? Well, there is a lot of ways to do it, and some of them you've probably never even seen, so let's go have a look at them now. Need rigs? Ace Fight Studios has rigs. So, first things first, we have the regular symmetry object. It's the object you're probably going to go and find first if you want to make something symmetrical. And it's in this menu here, and it's called Symmetry. Now, if you plug something into it, um, it won't work quite as you expected. It'll make a copy of it, but it's not really going to make stuff symmetrical. Like if you go to polygon mode and you try to move stuff, it will move, but it'll be a separate object. And then each object will be individual and then you'll have double polygons. So not really a straightforward. So to use a symmetry object, um, you want to delete half of your object. So you go to edge mode, you double click the middle selection maybe double click it a couple more times until you get the whole line there you go or you can go into side view mode and go to point mode and select use the rectangular selection to select half of your points and press delete and now your symmetry tool actually works correctly because now you have half of your model and you have the symmetry object making a copy of it. It has a couple of settings here. You can choose which mirror plane you want to mirror on. So as you can see, the X set will mirror down. But I recommend not really changing these. I recommend just changing the axis of your symmetry object because your symmetry will happen on this blue-green axis of this object, the symmetry object. So if you go to axis mode and you go rotate, you can move around where your symmetry will happen. So be aware of that because, for example, a common problem is if you have, like right now, the axis of this model is in the middle. So it works. But if your model is somewhere over here, oops, axis over here, and you just have a symmetry object in the middle and you plug it in, it won't work. Um, sometimes you can save some time by holding the Alt key while creating the symmetry object and it will make the symmetry automatically apparent. But it will make apparent where the axis is. So if we undo this, if your axis is somewhere over here and you hold the Alt key to make a symmetry object, it's going to be symmetrifying over that axis. So it's not really the way it's meant to work. Anyway, there's a, this is generally a decent tool. The problem is you lose your UVs here and you have sometimes these problems where the points, if you're, for example, using a brush tool, um, you might be, you know, re-sculpting it and you might accidentally move stuff. And then you'll see you have this kind of center object messing up. So now if you put this into a subdivision surface, you'll see it doesn't smooth out. So there's a solution for this, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, but basically you clamp points on axis. And now when you move stuff, you'll see the points in the middle, they're kind of stuck in the middle, um, which is useful. So this is a pretty decent tool. It does require you to delete half your model, which isn't super convenient. And sometimes if it's already rigged, you can't really do that. But it is there. And if you have your, if you didn't turn this on, for example, or if your model has had some problems while you were trying to symmetrify it, um, there's actually a very cool set of scripts by Holger Biar. Sorry for butchering that. It's called HB Modeling Tool Sets. And I got them right here. And these are very handy for fixing this stuff. So when you have this selected, if you want, there's this thing called um, Symmetry Fix, where basically you just select the edges and you hit symmetry fix and it'll fix it for you. It'll also, if we have this non-symmetrical object here, so I, did, I made it editable, so it's just the object now. Um, if you hit this button here, symmetry maker, it'll automatically delete half of it and make symmetry in one click, which is really convenient. It also has a bunch of other symmetry things, which are pretty handy. Um, like it has a symmetry group maker, which is really useful if you have a bunch of objects selected. Like if you have a bunch of objects and you need to symmetrify them all, you just hit this button and boom, it made a symmetry. Um, very useful stuff. Also these kind of these uh, clip symmetries are very useful, but these two basically save so much time when making symmetry. Um, and mirror is just basically where it flips the polygons over to the other side. Um, but very useful tool, follow the links in the description if you want to buy it. It's has a whole bunch of tools, not just this, which make life amazing. I probably should make a full review on it, but these honestly save way more time than the $95 that it costs. 
Now, the next way to make a mirror or a symmetry is to use instances. So for example, we have this object here, which is a little shape, and we can use an instance. Click here and then select instance. And I'll make an instance, and this is just a copy. It's like an null, which has lots of uses, but specifically here, if we go to coordinates of this object, we can type in a negative here and it'll flip it. And now we have this object which we can move around, which is a mirror image of this. So when we edit something on this one, for example, we can insert this and then extrude it. Oops, extrude it, it'll extrude. So this is very handy sometimes, and I'll show you why. Um, because for example, let's say we are modeling this robot here. And we want to put this hand on this side. We haven't finished designing it because we might still change stuff. So what we can do is we can select this left arm top. And as you can see, it's this one. And we have a pivot point, which is approximately the right place. And we also have this bottom thing in here, which is the left hand. So for now, let's get this guy and let's go instance, create an instance. And you'll see we have this copy of it now. It's great. Now we're going to put a negative here. We're going to figure out which one it is. Sometimes you put it in and it doesn't quite work. So you just flips it that way. So you gotta know which one it is. So sometimes you just gotta try an error. error. There goes the last one. And then you wanna change the rotation from minus 20 to positive 20. Okay, we're good. And then I'm guessing this one should be minus as well. Nope, not that one. Maybe the X, there we go. And we have a hand. And here we realize that we are missing the actual left arm so we can grab our uh, left hand, no, right hand, left hand here. And we can just put it into the same thing that we're instancing. And then it's on both sides. But it's not always what we want. Because sometimes, for example, we want this to have a left hand, but we actually have a right hand, which is a different design. And right now, if we move this instance, it doesn't move the bottom of it. But if we get this right hand and just nest it under it, then we can move it and pose it. And if we ever make any changes to this object here, like if we get this guy and stretch him out or up, you'll see the changes on both sides. So we can still edit the other part of the object. And if you want here this movement to affect this thing as well, just put this in another null. Make sure this is your left arm. No, and just put this left hand into there. And then this left arm moves the whole thing. And you have instances, but you can also, so you have mirrored instances, but you can also edit them and pose them while you're working to check out how it works. Here on the leg, I have the same thing. It's just, see, and this way I can pose this leg. I can put it where I want. This one doesn't really have a good access point, but I guess I was just blocking it in, wasn't paying attention. Now, let's have a look at a non-destructive method, because the previous methods required to delete half the mesh and then make a symmetry of it. But what if you already have a mesh which has already like joints and it's already rigged and you want to change something in it? Well, this is where there's a couple of other tools that Cinema has. Now, so let's select our body here. And Cinema has these sculpt tools. They're in the mesh panel. Sometimes the panel's called sculpt, depending on which version of Cinema 40 you're using. But this one under brushes, you can hold this thing and you have all these tools. You have pull, grab, smooth, but the important ones I think are grab and inflate. What you wanna do is you wanna go click on one of them, go to symmetry panel, turn on symmetry in one of these panels. Usually it's YZ, there you go. You can middle click to and drag to make it smaller, left and right. But also don't forget to click link, link symmetry. This is important when you switch between tools. And now when you move stuff, you have symmetrical movements going on so you can adjust things but you still have all your joints working. So if you switch back to your move tool and you select any of your joints, it works. Now, the only issue, like the main issue with this is that when you modify stuff, its symmetry is kind of visual. So for example, if we use our grab tool, let's make it very big and let's turn off symmetry for a second. And if we move this hand over here, drag it down. Then if we turn symmetry back on, and we move these fingers here, for example, nothing's gonna happen. It doesn't check what is topologically symmetry. It only edits things basically that are physically symmetrical on the world plane or the object plane. So be aware because sometimes even when you're editing something like a face, um, you can slightly, even when you don't turn off symmetry, sometimes things will glitch out a bit and some pieces will move and then other pieces won't. And 
it so just keep an eye for that something important to keep an eye out on sometimes the symmetry does kind of mess up a little bit um, but it's very convenient otherwise now while we're in this sculpt menu there's another useful symmetry object it's not really a symmetry tool but it is symmetrical adjacent um, when you select things that will your faces and you use a selection tool um, you have to select you have to match the selections by going to the other side and making sure they're the same. But actually Cinema has a symmetrical selection option. It's not in any of these settings, but it's here in the sculpt menu where you had your brushes. At the end, there's a thing called select and it has symmetry options, which you can add if you turn off its subdivision, it'll be more obvious and you can just add them. So sometimes you might need that. It's very, can be very handy. There you go, quick tip. Now, these methods that I've showed you, uh, they work on modifying existing geometry. They will not work on uh, creating new geometry generally. Like this is like why this thing with the selection thing is useful because now you can press D or right click and click extrude. And now you can extrude stuff on both sides. Uh, when you're just using the regular sculpt tools, you don't really have that option. You can't create new geometry. All these tools, they just move around existing geometry. So that's something to keep in high mind. Now that I'm going to just, I did that now. And the last option is actually a very accurate one. And I think a very convenient one people don't know about. I actually made a whole video about it, but basically if you have an object, you just right click and you go, um, rigging tags, you go pose morph. I know it's weird. You turn on points and then here, um, you can move stuff. You can either use the grab tool or you can select something like you can select these guys and then go UF to select the ear and you can move it around or you can scale it out or do whatever you need to it. And then what you can do is you can actually right click on this. You can go copy, you can go paste, and then you can right click on it and go flip X and ta-da. And then when you go animate, you have these two pose morphs on left and right, which lets you modify stuff. So you can actually decide how far in you want them. So that's very convenient. And then you just delete this tag and it'll keep your positions. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember, if you need rigs, Ace 5 Studios has rigs. We have free rigs up here that you can use in your personal projects. We have Mari and Mia and 5J Pack for explainers and arms and legs. And Maria has a bunch of cats and animals you can use. And here, if you go through, Mari has a full face rig. Which you, can, you know, it's lots of functionality. You can use them in your projects. Mia is also fully rigged. Um, you can use her as a host or to sell your product. Um, also have the arms and legs pack, which you can put together to build your own characters and you, they're already rigged. So you don't need to do any weight painting. You just have to stick them together and ready to go. Or you have 5j people for your explainer videos and other stuff. So don't forget to check it out and see you next time.